Well, more now on Singapore's solidarity budget. The third installment of support to fight COVID-19 allocates an additional $5.1 billion. It comes ahead of a one-month circuit breaker period when schools and most businesses will be closed. Total support now stands at almost $60 billion. For a closer look at the latest measures, we're joined by Kurt Lee, and he's president of the Association of Small and Medium Enterprises. Kurt, so additional measures announced by uh, Deputy Prime Minister there, he said there's $5.1 billion. We know this is also the third round of a support in, what, less than two months after coming after the uh, unity budget as well as the resilience budget. So I want to know, in your view, are they all encompassing enough to help SMEs and companies deal with this circuit breaker and perhaps maybe even beyond? I think what we were projecting is that with the circuit breaker in place, we were expecting a six to eight weeks of slowdown. Uh, actually, uh, for many, many companies, it's literally a suspension. So the job support, JSS, which ran up from 25 to 75% for the month of April, is really, really going to be able to help businesses with their costs. I think that's one of the big piece of uh, assistance that's been announced. It's going to be able to help businesses. Uh, the announcement of the uh, measures for the rent, uh, for, the, for the protection for the six months uh, for those companies that cannot pay their rents, I think that measure is going to be able to help them uh, hold on to their assets and hold them to their business as an ongoing concern. And, and uh, the announcement of the uh, credit government risk sharing from 80 to 90 percent, I think that's going to be something that's going to really take uh, the next one or two months. Because businesses have been really, you know, exhausting their savings, exhausting their reserves over the last two months. So I think that credit facility uh, is going to come in very, very handy for businesses. Kurt, most businesses will be closed from tomorrow, except for those deemed essential services. We know that no sector will be spared the pain, and survival is top of the minds. As you mentioned, it's going to be a real struggle. From your interactions with businesses, uh, what are their biggest concerns right now? Well, you know, the, the budget is not going to cover the loss for the businesses, but it is going to cushion the loss for the businesses. And I think... Uh, you know, prior, just prior to the resilience budget, a lot of businesses were on the verge of uh, retrenching. And I think that resilience budget sort of came in and, and stamped that piece there. And, you know, the solidarity budget, uh, it's very swift, it's very meaty, and I think it's going to come in very, very handy to sort of help the businesses hold their lines there. Um, so there are also some announcement on the rent and the credit besides the job support scheme. So I think businesses will look at it at, a, at a, something that's very handy uh, for, as a total package. And they have to tactically look at how they plan themselves out over the next six to eight months. However, I would have to say this, the solidarity budget is going to help businesses for one month. And I think towards the late part of April, both government and businesses will assess what's the, what the situation is like. And hopefully, come May, businesses can carry on business as usual. Or, or you know, not business as usual, but, you know, at least they can start off. Right. So saying that, how far do you think then these measures will actually go, go to alleviate wage costs during this one-month circuit breaker, this 75% um, wage subsidy which will apply for local staff? I think it will go very far in helping businesses with their wage costs. It's not just uh, moving that baseline of 25% uh, to 75% wage support. There is also the uh, waiver of the foreign worker levies for work permits as part, and at the same time, a $750 rebate per foreign workforce. I think that's really going to help businesses alleviate that cost because they can't generate business, they can't generate revenue during this period of time and they're looking at really a date with costs for so many businesses is looking at a date with cost it's not just the, the frontline businesses that are hit there are many many sectors that are hit at a broad base level so this broad base help that's been announced is is going to make a very very big difference on uh, saving jobs and maintaining the livelihood of uh, the workers all right, thank you very much for speaking to us, Kurt. We've been speaking there with Kurt Wee, president of the Association of Small and Medium Enterprises.